Italy and I'm a teacher in a middle school. Um, I teach English for, as a foreign language. And as a teacher, do you ever have any experience of dyslexic students? Oh yes, we have lots of students with dyslexia in our class, mm -hmm. especially in the same class. Okay. Them can be uh, even about uh, uh, five or uh, six students with dyslexia um, or other special needs um, in the same class. Okay, and uh, out of uh, about. Uh, 25 students. Okay, so okay. And of those students, do you teach them differently? Do they, do they ever get separated from the rest of the group? How does that work? Uh, we've got some regulations from the government. Um, basically, um, teachers are expected to, um, to uh, teach them, um, well, let's say differently, but it's not the right word. Okay in a personalized way. Okay. This is the technical word that uh, also you can find in the governmental regulations. So basically, um, we need to cater for their features mm -hmm. and adapt our teaching style to uh, their features. Okay, okay. So it's like an individualized learning plan. Yes. Okay, and what, we what shouldn't separate them from the classes. Right, and what legislation is there that that, uh, that deals with this? Uh, in the in the last few years, um, the government um, had some laws about it, mm -hmm. and uh, um, as as I was saying earlier, um, we are expected to uh, use an individualized type of teaching. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And uh, um, basically we have to, um, we, first of all, uh, we have to uh, do a needs analysis. All right. So um, we have to observe the kids, how um, they um, interact with the class, what uh, they are teaching, where they're, what their learning styles are. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, then uh, we have to find uh, strategies that uh, are suitable to their uh, features. We have a special document that's called uh, uh, Piano Didattico Personalizzato. Mm -hmm. It's uh, um, basically a personalized uh, um, syllabus. Yeah, yeah. Um, not in terms of contents, but in terms of learning strategies. Yeah. For example, this kid has to use uh, uh, maps, mm -hmm. um, diagrams, uh, uh, this kid has to use the computer for written text, writing tests, speaking tests, um, he has to... Um, mm, he has to be allowed more time to complete tasks and so on. Excellent. So it's all in a document yeah. that we uh, fill in uh, at the beginning of the year. Okay, And brilliant. then we have to stick to it yeah. throughout the year. And do you find that the results of kids with dyslexia are higher now than they used to be? The results of their performance? Either, I suppose, yeah. Um... Uh, when I was uh, uh, when I was younger and um, when I was in school myself, um, if, um, any kid who uh, didn't uh, have uh, excellent or good performance uh, in tests um, was considered um, lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, today um, we have to distinguish between the students who. Um, aren't successful uh, when you give them a, text, a test uh, uh, like all the other students because he has some difficulties and those kids who uh, are actually lazy, <laughs> so you have lazy to kids, distinguish yeah. these two facts. And uh, uh, I don't think that uh, the, uh, the results, uh, uh, we can say if their results are higher or not. Uh, um, they are indeed they are uh, more um, they receive more help mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, if they follow uh, our uh, advice 
they can get higher results, yes. I suppose, I suppose equally important or more important is these students that have these individualised plans, do they enjoy their learning? Are they satisfied at school? Um, yes, of course, because, um, because uh, their self-esteem is uh, fine, it's yeah. okay. And uh, um, if, because if you, if you start giving low marks to them, then they, they, they feel frustrated. So, of course, they have the chance to, to improve themselves and also enjoy school activities. Otherwise, they would, be, uh, they would receive only low marks. And, yeah. uh, and they're receiving decent marks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I suppose I'm going to ask a slightly ignorant question now, so please forgive my ignorance. But as I understand it, Italy is a country made up of states. Um, and uh, is the law about dyslexia, is it the same in, for instance, Sicily as it is in Milan? Yes, it is a governmental law mm -hmm. um, which applies to all state schools in the whole country. 